Archaeologists in Russia, in Siberia, have recently found a mysterious iPhone-shaped object, gem-studded, at an ancient Siberian burial ground. It's uncovered along with remains of a woman belonging to an ancient nomadic tribe, thought to have been inhabited in the eastern Eurasian steppe from the 3rd century BC to the 1st century AD. It's in a part of Siberia, northern Russia. This is on Sputnik News today. This was found at a dig site dubbed the Russian Atlantis. And it's known as such because the site is above water for archaeologists to explore for only a few weeks every year. There's a little embedded video here, a few seconds, but it doesn't really show much. Actually, it shows when they, they, were, they were sort of brushing away the uh, dirt, the uh, soil from the top of the object, this uh, iPhone-looking object. Very good, uh, unbelievable quality. It looks like it was uh, just cast a few days ago. Archaeologists working at the site in the mountainous region of Russia's Tuva Republic in Siberia. It's about two and a half thousand miles east of Moscow in Western Mongolia, and they discovered a curious black gemstone encrusted rectangular object at the burial site. It's 18 by 9 centimeters or 7 by 3 and a half inches and is thought to have been used as an ornate belt buckle discovered with the ancient woman with other objects including ancient clay pots found nearby. The buckle is said to have been made of a jet gem precursor to coal, sort of blackish gray. It was encrusted with turquoise, carnelian and mother-of-pearl gemstones and decorated with the Wuzu coins, which was the ancient Chinese currency produced between 1018 BC up to 621 AD. And therefore, they used, the archaeologists used this to calculate the belt and the buckle that could be over 2,000 years old. The relics were discovered in the Saiyan Sea. That was a giant man-made reservoir along the Yenisei River, upstream from the Sayano Shushen Skaya Dam, which dries up in the spring and early summer of each year, exposing the collection of remains dating back to the Bronze Age. Dr. Pavel Luce, archaeologist from the team studying the site, said that the Zhongnu era iPhone buried alongside the remains, which the team nicknamed Natasha, is one of the most interesting finds in this burial site, they said. Over a hundred other sites, many of them very well preserved, have been counted at this area, the Saiyan Sea site. The head of the uh, Tuva archaeological expedition, Marina Kirunovskaya called it a scientific sensation. She says we are incredibly lucky to have found these burials of rich Hun nomads that were not disturbed by any ancient grave robbers. And as we said, it's about two and a half thousand miles east of Moscow, the Tuva region known for pristine wilderness, very clean air and rich, thick forest resources. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.